week series we're bringing you into the Michael Forbes grill here in Brookside I have Forbes cross here or owner who joins me now so let's talk a little bit about the dish that we're about to cook today uh, we're gonna do steak tacos Sounds so good oh they're awesome and again everything we use is fresh fresh ingredients okay. one thing that makes I think our tacos unique is we do a we import a tortilla from California and it's kind of a half corn and just um, yellow corn and it has just a little bit of corn flour in it okay so it keeps it really moist and that's kind of a new trend I'm seeing with new tortillas where they kind of mix the the corn and a little bit of flour together to give it a better texture okay well let's show uh, viewers at home how to do this now what is a good substitute if they want to go out and buy a tortilla and make this dish at home oh um, any of the like the grocery stores the high V's the hen houses they all have really good tortilla selections so just okay. you gotta go pick and see what you like good for good your deal. taste all right so what okay. do we do first? First, um, to make the dish really well, we have a marinade that we marinate our steak in. That okay. really gives it the flavor, and then we'll use that marinade also in the in the cooking to add the flavor. Okay. So to make the marinade, we're going to add um, white vinegar, olive oil, uh, soy sauce. That gives it the nice salty flavor. It's tasty already. Fresh chopped garlic granulated garlic and then we have oregano we like to use Greek oregano because it has a much better flavor and this is uh, smoked paprika and then we'll take all that and we're going to mix that up for the marinade okay how long do we let this marinade um, I prefer to marinate it overnight okay so but if you can't you can put this in the marinade and leave it out for about an hour or two at room temperature it won't affect the meat you can leave meat out for four hours without uh, any you know, hurting the meat or the quality of the meat. Okay. And that's what it looks like here. This meat has been marinating uh, for about 24 hours. Oh, it's so got a nice rich color. Mm -hmm. uh, and the marinade is all taken into the meat. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to cook it. Now here, to me, this is about medium, medium rare, which I like okay. for a taco. Again, we just put the... A lot of times I'll have my children over, we'll make chicken, steak, and then we'll make like a homemade chicken and saute it, and just put out different uh, cheeses. Self-serve taco bar. Self-serve taco bar. Those and they, are the best. And they love it. And then we have a little, uh, this is a, another like just cilantro and diced onions, and this is, gives it a lot more crisper, fresher taste. Okay. And again, you'll see there's no cheese on these tacos. I did, I just noticed that. Yeah, I, no cheese, and that's because it, to us it's a more authentic, in Mexico they really don't put cheese huh. on tacos, so we call these authentic steak tacos okay. because they're a lot better. Okay. And then we like to squeeze a little bit of fresh lime juice on each taco. And that'll now, why, uh, this is a lime, uh -huh. not lemon. Okay. Lime juice, right. yeah, lime. And then again, in Mexico, they don't even have lemons in Mexico. It's only limes. Ah, and the lime juice okay. just kind of cuts some of it. If it's too spicy or different things, the lime juice kind of cuts it and mellows it out, which okay. is really nice. And then we would garnish this with a fresh piece of cilantro on top just to make it look pretty. That and of course, beautiful. in order to cleanse your palate. Gorgeous. Yeah. So this is a dish that you can check out on the restaurant week menu. Yes. January 18th through the 27th. And you can try to make this dish at home. We'll have the recipe on KCTV5.com.